another animal I haven't seen an awful lot of. There it is. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. This upturned root tree bowl is perfect for them. He's just working yeah. his way around and popping his head out of different holes. I've stacked all these roots on top of each other and it's just like weasel heaven. They just thread the way in between. 99 times out of 100 when you see a weasel, this one dashing across the road in front of yeah. you or, or you disturbing one in vegetation, yeah. but you've managed to get a resident weasel. Wow, you got babies. Yeah, so this is the uh, <laughs> the kits. She moved them in here at six days old. Uh, and there's six or seven there? Yeah, well, we thought there was five, and then when she moves them now, there's actually seven kits. So she's actually taking them one by one out, which is actually quite normal behaviour, I think, for weasels. It is, yeah, yeah. If the nest gets uh, dirty, there's mice going in there all the time, or if there's any disturbance, they will move the kits. Carrying them off one by one. What? She's yeah. a very diligent mother. Oh, yeah. And then she comes back to check to see if she hasn't left any. For me, the most astonishing thing is this is not in a studio set. These are wild animals mm -hmm. being filmed in your back garden. So at this stage, she's feeding them meat. Oh, yeah, even earlier. Um, I mean, I've read lots of books, and they say at three weeks they start feeding them meat. But the kits were actually uh, sucking on the meat on mice at a week old, which I think could be new to science. What you've got here is a weasel superhighway, and I see you've got all the angles covered with a monitor here, surveillance cameras, but why a mirror? So the mirror is crucial because uh, she comes from the feeding box and she's bringing the food back to the nest chamber, and she comes through this dry stone wall that I've built so fast, I often don't even get a photograph. So I watch her in the mirror first, and it gives me two seconds head start on her to get a photograph. And then she uh, comes through these scaffold pipes here, so you can hear it coming through the scaffold pipes with her claws. And then she pops out here just a metre away, and then she zips around the corner here into the uh, nesting chamber. Just a metre away, so she must know you're sitting here. Oh, yeah, I've been working with this weasel for over four months now, so as long as I'm still, there's absolutely no problem. So I've built up a rapport with this animal. So she's happy, and you get lots of nice photos. Yeah, I mean, I'm delighted with the pictures I've got so far. And that's because they're so incredibly tough to spot and unpredictable. But it's thanks to Robert's ingenuity and devotion we're finally getting to know a little bit more about the secret world of the weasel. <laughs>